So I'm under my sink here and if you can see it with the camera you can tell there's water starting to seep out right there. If you look at the uh, sink drain here you can see it's uh, shifted off to one side so it's up on that side and then kind of shifted so let's, let's get that sitting on there straight. I uh, I don't have a wrench that's big enough to get around that thing. So we're going to have to do the hammer screwdriver trick. So, I had to get a bigger belt wrench. I got it wedged up here against the cabinet. And now I uh, think I got it to where I can finally loosen that thing. This is stupid. This is just stupid. Anyway, let's do this. This is just dumb. So I got the nut and washer off the basket strainer. And I should have tried taking that off first. I didn't realize that thing was going to be basically glued on. I don't know what they put on that thing, but it is not coming loose. I'm going to have to give it another shot here. But anyway, there's all your plumber's putty junk around the top and um, got my belt wrench here let's try this again finally no, it should not have been that tight. I don't know what they put on it, but there we go. Uh, and it's really sticky, so I don't know if it's just a just the old food residue. Or if they really did just put some kind of a glue on there. Some type of an adhesive or what something. Anyway. Let's get this. <clears throat> Alright. Now with all that off. I can just pull it out from the top. So we'll need to clean up all the ceiling surfaces, get all this plumber's putty off of the sink side. I'm going to reuse this, so I'm going to need to clean off all that. I'm going to use a uh, just a scrub sponge. This Hopefully that will get it off. There is a, a, uh, a gasket here that... Uh, you can replace. I didn't grab one, so I'm going to clean it off and reuse it. Um, so, I'm going to get to work on that. First, let's see what we can get off with just a paper towel.
All right, let's see how much of this we can clean off with just a paper towel. I'm gonna make sure that ceiling surface is completely cleaned off, so looks like it's cleaning off pretty good. Uh, and this ceiling surface where that nylon piece is going to be sealing up against, just make sure that's free of any debris. And yep, that looks good. Now I'm going to go ahead and wash these off with soapy water. It is new. I also want to make sure the ceiling surface of this pipe is cleaned off. So I did go ahead and buy a fancy wrench for this. So I wasn't using my screwdriver and hammer, but I got a new reseal kit for this and then the plumber's putty. So let's go ahead and put it back together. All right, I'm gonna take the old junk uh, O-ring and nut off. And then just, then this is the last cleaning. And this is the last uh, ceiling surface that I need to clean off. Looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and drop the nylon washer back down on there before, so I don't forget about it. All right, now I'm gonna take my plumber's putty and go ahead and get some out. I got a nice lump of this stuff and you wanna roll it up. All right, so here's my roll. All right, so here's my roll. I'm gonna go ahead and put it around the ceiling surface of this. And then I'm gonna need a little more. All right, now I'm gonna squish it down into the, uh, to where it's covering the entire ceiling surface. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my nut and washers up on the uh, uh, up on the pipe. So I'm gonna put the nut on. So you want the paper washer to go on next, and then the rubber washer, because you want that paper washer to be the buffer between the nut. You want that uh, paper washer to be the buffer between this nut turning and this rubber washer. All right, now I wanna go ahead and put this on and uh, try to make sure it's centered in the hole and squish it down.
Okay, now let's go ahead and tighten up our stuff on the bottom. So you can go ahead and remove some of the excess putty before you go uh, putting the the washers and nuts up there. All right, let's go ahead and put the rubber washer up, paper washer up, and then the nut. Just make sure that this thing is actually centered because I can't really see that well. It's all this plumber's putty in the way. There we go. Now I want to go ahead and cinch it down real tight and then uh, and then I'll wipe the rest of this excess plumber's putty off get to use my new wrench and then while you're tightening it you want to make sure that the you want to make sure that the whole thing doesn't start turning all right it's tight so let's squeeze out some more of the plumber's putty i'll just remove that kind of push it down into the gap So I ended up having to pull it out and do it again because it wasn't centered and I used less uh, less of the plumber's putty and then also got it squished down so I can definitely see that it's in the middle. Got it all squished down in there before I even start tightening it at all. So it is squished down in there pretty good and I know it's in the middle so let's tighten it up. All right, it's down and I actually found out it was the force of the wrench and me pushing on that handle that was making it slide. So let's go ahead and remove the excess putty. Now the last thing, get this stupid thing on. So I had to loosen it here at the garbage disposal uh, just so that I could get enough slack to to get lined up up there and now we can screw it on flush there we go and then I'll tighten it down with the wrench All right, now I need to tighten this back up here. So in, the, <clears throat> so in the process of loosening that up, this uh, nylon 
seal there uh, got crooked and so I couldn't get it to uh, reseal and not leak so I had to take it apart get it all lined back up and now I'm going to tighten it up by hand we'll see if it leaks all right let's check for leaks I uh, was running the water on this side washing my hands that's why it's all bubbly over there but I'm going to be running the water on both sides so let's go ahead and do that So far, so good. So now I'm filling it with water to uh, see if it holds. All right, everything looks dry around the seal. So I think we're good to go. Thanks for watching.